Okay, my name is Akashi guys and in this video here we are going to be diving into a discussion talking about free to play units and anything that comes with them so we got the Zenkai's now which makes the, basically makes the unit free to play we got the plat equipments that been, they've been dropping and they also have this arts boost system which is probably going to help a lot of units but even then are you going to want an arts boost free to play units or Zenkai's I guess it's preference matter but we're going to be diving into this whole topic talking about different areas of the game and whether it's actually worth it because a lot of free to play and new players are coming into the game and want to know whether they should actually be Zenkai and all of these new players new characters Characters. So, without further ado, hopefully you guys are going to enjoy this video, man. If you haven't already, make sure to press that subscribe button. We're on this grind to 50,000 subscribers. Anniversary is close, so hopefully you guys are saving up well. Let me know how many Chrono Crystals you've got. Every video I'm doing, I'm doing the check, so you got to be going up every single time. If you're staying stagnant or going below, you're not doing good enough. You can get Chrono Crystals every single day, so take it seriously, man. Like I said, press the subscribe button. We're on this grind to 50,000 subscribers. Let's actually get into this video now okay so what's actually sparking this video the reason why i wanted to make this video is mainly because of this new section they've added to the game here they've got three zenkai awakened units that now are able to get equipments that would actually make them a bit stronger but i want to point this out and say just because i'm saying this doesn't mean they're not relevant at all but even then really they're not and just because i say this doesn't mean they're not usable more than anything else these guys are not top 10 they're not they're not gonna make a dent in the meta really and truly they can just be an addition to your team if you really want to use them but really and truly there are better options for almost all of these units in the game so there's literally no reason to use any of them on top of the fact that when you actually go into each equipment battle so let me show you there's conditions to even play it which is annoying so not the one where you just have to use the one unit by themselves but you have to get them to friendship five first or higher that's going to be very very inconvenient for a lot of people they're going to have to grind out friendship five for all of these characters at the moment we've only got three they haven't released a lot but you can bet there's going to be more in the future they're only releasing these so far for zenkai awakenable characters from the seams of it but maybe they might do non-zenkai awakenable characters maybe it'll be more valuable then but right now they've already started only started with zenkai awakened characters so getting them to friendship 5 is a jar then the main bit is the fact that it's an equipment at the end of the day so equipments are going to get power crept it's just the way the game works even zenkai's get power crept everything is power crept but the fact that you have to grind out these equipments and on the release of the equipment they're not even that powerful like as in they're not making the units top 10 relevant even shows that wow what's the point you know you grind out this equipment getting a red slot is hell unless it's the bonanza and even then people's bonanza luck is like people be saying bonanza is not real man it doesn't exist it's a fraud you know Getting the first slot red or yellow is hard. The middle slot is even going to be valuable. Look at this. 7 to 15% to own strike and blast attack. If other than his character is an episode margin boost saga. More likely you're going to be using this guy on hybrid Saiyans. And those two other hybrid Saiyans are not going to be from the margin boost saga. You're going to be using probably Pan or Beast Gohan. Let's keep it a stack. And then this third slot. You already know about these third slots man. These third slots be hell for no matter the equipment. Especially plats generally speaking. Um, if you have any third slot like this where it's conditional to one of the three that red slot that third option is going to be difficult as hell to get even though it's the best one so that just makes it overall not worth it man it's actually a pain in the back to actually go ahead and grind these equipments for them to not even bring a lot of value to your unit I feel like out of all of these three I'd say Super Saiyan 3 Goku had the most value on release but again it was more so just the preference of it being a Goku in my opinion he quickly died out and people stopped using it Boo over here, regeneration just has slightly better options and even then it's kind of just like clinging on to the past and ultimate Gohan's never been really a staple unit on any of the teams that he's been used on and even for the Margin Boo Saga they never really made the Margin Boo Saga team a thing they really just made it a campaign and brought hype units to represent whatever tag they already had it's never really a thing where the Margin Boo tag like you know how they have sagas from the movies as an episode as a team no other saga in a sense really makes sense besides gt because gt has its own tag as well but where it's episodes specifically anyways margin view saga is what i'm talking about in this case because i don't want to make an argument for other cases the tag isn't very viable on its own you can try put something together but it's not going to have the best synergy to even be valuable in the meta so that's another problem with the fact that they've gone this way with even three margin boost sagas like come on man just 
it, 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 it doesn't make sense it's like they're putting in a lot of effort to release these things they're not going to be that that much usable in the game especially in the pvp aspect of the game anyways and then on top of that margin boost saga with no tag being useful like why are you buffing these guys especially when there's almost a, a better option for every one of these guys if you have the super saiyan trunks this the, instead of this guy this gohan he's probably more valuable honestly at higher star level super saiyan 3 goku there's so many purple saiyans bro there is so many purple saiyans that are good let me let me even um get the gold to saiyan right and then select purple so you can just see uh we've got ugb i'd rather use blue bros because they got the tag switch purple rose ui signs probably gonna get a zenkai this guy's a hp buffer and a zenkai buffer you know even these two even these two sorry let's take ugb and just rose right these two even though they're not pure saiyans much more valuable as a purple on any saiyan team if you lead a slot them and like why would you use the super saiyan free goal because there's very few teams that even if you were going to use them you're going to be fighting ugb almost every single time so let's just stop that let's be honest for real that's the segment so far it just seems very uh, useless if you wanted to grind it it's more of a present thing you can have fun with these units but again it's not going too far for the equipment battles and it's quite disappointing in that aspect i hope they actually give some units actual plats that make them way better and i wouldn't say who i'd recommend but let me actually um go through my box right and actually just select zenkai so let me go to zenkai applicable um let me take that off zenkai applicable and um let's see what characters i'd want so they need to give red super gogeta one for movies one uh he's a regular sparking and he would actually change a lot in the game another person i'd probably want to get one would be i think this vegeta would be a nice one low key low key he has some factors there android 18 for sure that would actually bring the game uh, like a spark in some way shape or form let's go with this this legendary super saiyan broly broly needs some love man they did them dirty with ultra broly and i'll throw in one blue just for sake uh off my bias i'll just go goji as well because he's hype as hell more, more other than that if it's not zenkai's so if we actually go to unawakened uh we have lots of regular characters here this red bardock i'd want to get one so i'd go like one element for each one i think that's the easiest way to go marjub should get one that would be dope or this gohan i like that gohan a lot for purple bojack give me bojack any day of the week pause that sounds crazy let's go this trunks no green goku black or vados one of these two i think that would be a very very popular one and for blue let's close it out with it has to be someone slightly old so i have to scroll up but all of these blues are just bad. This Vegeta can get one. But it'll be, it'll be, a bit, it'll be abysmal if it's any Vegeta. But yeah, that's the first segment. I just wanted to talk about that equipment segment. It's just bad overall. Um, damn. <laughs> Alright, segment two is just about the Zenkais alone. So when they actually Zenkai awaken units, how valuable are they? Now, let's look at this box. And if I wanted to point out how many Zenkais are actually relevant in the game, I'd say if they're not an LF Zenkai, they're so irrelevant. And the only relevance they'll get here and there is simply because they are a Zenkai buffer. They go through this whole process of bringing someone to Zenkai 7 just for you to use them as a bench option in terms of PvP. That's quite abysmal, man. It's quite abysmal. There are some that are usable. For example, I've actually had fun using this free-to-play 21, which is actually ironic because out of all the Zenkais, I have to point out the free-to-play first. She's actually really good in terms of her blast damage. She gets a blue card. She has some inconvenience when, when you cover change with her. I believe she locks strikes. But that's a really cool. It's really dope that I can use her. But then if I'm scrolling, I don't see a lot of free-to-play user... I mean, Zenkais that are usable. I'm saying free-to-play because Zenkais are all free-to-play now. Like besides the lf one so ssbe i can use him and actually go far with him Forku, i can actually use him and go far with him this purple rose he can be used i'm not gonna say i would go far with him but people can go far with him without a doubt um as loe main stick onto this first form freezer they love him and they go far with him which is actually insane uh let's go to the other other uh elements i think that's it I think that's actually it. Everybody else is a Zenkai buffer. There's nobody else that I can think of off the top of my head, like like looking at it, that is actually a good LF Zenkai that can actually hold their own at all points. And I, I believe I mentioned Forku because I need to respect my boy. SV over here, Zenkai buffer, literally just a Zenkai buffer. Um, Vegeta, Zenkai buffer. Super Saiyan 3 Goku, Zenkai buffer. MV, nowhere to be seen. VB, he's not even a Zenkai buffer at the moment, but he can be. Uh, Namek Goku, Zenkai buffer but outside of that more people most people are not being used pan 
I see this girl only because she's Zankai buffs, Beast Gohan. I like to use the blue Broly because she's Zankai buffs, Beast Gohan as well. Other than that, Zenkai's are just Zenkai buff, buff is like, can you really look at this box of Zenkai's? These are all the Zenkai's we've got in the game. Can you really look at this box of Zenkai's and really say that Zenkai's are really valuable in the game when basically none of them are useful? Like that is actually ridiculous to have all these units. How many units is this? I'm gonna have to do some maths, but I don't know how many rolls there are, so I'm not gonna bother. But you can see there's a lot. There's four per roll, and there's a bunch of rolls. There's a bunch of rolls, man. There's over 40 units here easily, and that's kind of sad. I hope they actually improve the quality of Zenkai because really and truly, only L of Zenkai's are valuable, and even at that, it's not all of them. We've had a lot of fumbles, a lot of fumbles. Uh, the biggest one, considering we're at the anniversary point, VB, man. Oh, brother, this guy stinks! What the hell is this, man? Sapphire Protector of the Future. What is this? Applies the following effects to self when two allies are defeated. Two, bro, they gave him two lines. It's three technically. Restores health by 15 and then reduces receive, damage received by 10% cannot be cancelled. It's only three lines because the text is too big. The top bit doesn't even count, man. This is ridiculous. They, there's no way somebody sat there in the studio and said, let's go sapphire protect of the future like it's actually abysmal that they can create something like this and just be satisfied with it man do better now we've got one more segment that i want to talk about before i just show you one bit at the end of the video it's simply the fact that the event exclusive tag is so irrelevant it's insane now i will not lie every now and then we do get a good free to play unit people are like oh they actually they're actually cooking hold on hold on I mentioned the free to play 21 earlier she's actually pretty nice uh back in the day we got this free to play 21 as well she was pretty nice we had this super saiyan trunks in his time he was uh, he was actually really good he was actually really good this cell here was cooking the gt guys they tried to gas up the super 17 and this GT good Goku. And don't get me wrong this Goku is maybe better than the 17. I feel like this Goku saw so more shine time but these Gohan was around, so it was tough. But they were good units. They had good kits, like actual ones that people would, you would see them now and then. But other than that, more of them are just gimmick units. Shout out my boy Pupuy as well. You got a whole day for you, man. Shout out Pupuy, man. That's my guy. Overall, these units also don't matter as well. And I feel like what makes it worse with a lot of these units, their Z abilities are not better than other options that you've got in the game. So they have no Z ability value for a lot of the top teams anyways the usability for them is irrelevant and let's not take away the fact that you have to grind events for them and then you can't just ignore the events because these characters are useful in other events so for example they will drop a full power battle and to actually clear it with ease you're going to need one of these free to play units to be on your team outside of that you have to actually grind co-op to actually get the unit and then when the raid comes around you need the bench boost so then you have to grind them to 14 stars so you can get the highest boost and that's a lot of time taken out of your day for a unit that you're never going to use again after the event's over it's kind of playing the game if you want to call that content in a sense i feel like that's that's kind of a cheap like you know cheap cheap way to go about it having to just play something because they just want to release something remember the fact that most of these units have reused animations as well uh, obviously if they're one of a kind then they don't but most of them have reused animations if the animations are not default so in that case it's kind of like they're just copy and pasting putting in a cheap kit maybe a new thing here and there have them usable for maybe two days because they're new have you grind a long event and then use them to get cc elsewhere and now you're never going to touch them again because not even their z ability is useful it's like you're going around in a circle for something you don't really care about but you have to do it to make progress in the game so it's just part of the game take that as you will but that's just what it is it seems like another irrelevant section unless the unit is actually useful so i'm gonna shout out trunks again because i feel like the future guys love this guy uh he had like cover nullification which was actually pretty dope and he could get a new set of cards i believe dope guy man make more units like trunks where they can actually be useful for their team they're exactly what their team needs and can actually bring value man that's pretty much the end of the video i was going to show one more segment but i just didn't want to because i feel like twitter is a negative place overall but if you go on twitter and you see a lot of the times where they actually announce um zenkai units and they give like a small description of their kit even free to play units more time it's more like oh five time accounts of cover nullification and then every bit of their kit is bland or something like that and then twitter would just react in the most negative way like wow another zenkai we can't believe it you know a very sarcastic tone but really and truly 
in most cases they just zenkai buffers and i guess we gotta just leave it like that hopefully they at least keep making lf zenkai useful and i feel like you, if you're free to play you don't get benefits from being free to play really and truly you're just playing at the lowest tier you could possibly play in the game but yeah hopefully you guys did enjoy this video let me know you guys' thoughts i feel like i raised some good points generally overall speaking let me know anything you disagree with more than anything else because i feel like criticism is very important so especially for this video do you guys care about free to plays do you not what's your stance on it press the subscribe button man we're on this grind to 50,000 subscribers i'm gonna leave the video like that man i appreciate you guys for watching my name is akashi guys and i'll see you guys in the next one man